Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this week's episode of What a Horse. We're yes, sir. Getting down to the wire. Yeah. We're, we're going yonder. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and do your job, and we'll get you under. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety, and KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All right, welcome back. You know, Jerry, we're we're getting on up towards Christmas, and yes. I think uh, this week, Friday, y'all have the uh, trainers yeah. meeting to. Now you, you got two minutes to yes. politic, right? Yes, got two minutes to politic. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a, a, a blues on you. Uh, give us a give us a little spiel. Well, I'm gonna, the first thing I'm gonna do is introduce myself, and I'm gonna say I should tell you a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, but you you got to give some high points. Yeah, I, I mean, guess. so I mean, what are some of the points? Well, I'm trying to save that so nobody won't know my, my other you know, competition. I don't want to hear this. You bull. know, I don't want them to try to get you know a leverage on me. So if I sit there and I just kind of throw it on them all at once, you, you, they're not gonna steal what you say. Well, it might I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to mm -hmm. tell you what. I'm going to give you a good one. Yeah. When you get out there and say, there ain't none of them can make red beans and rice the way I can. That's you exactly right. And, and then dare them to say something. <laughs> and, and then we'll then take it from there. That'll work. But uh, I'm going to tell you what. I, from what I've seen, there's some good people running. Oh, it is. I mean, oh. it's, it's, it's some real good people out there that can help and stuff. I think, you know, new people, new ideals, and stuff like that, you know, it just, I think it, it'll help the industry a lot. Well, we, we're in, I'm going to tell you something, one, I'm going to give him a plug because he, he does, a lot of people don't like it because he's outspoken, but if you look at what he says, 
most of the time he's telling you the truth. Yes. It takes we. Uh huh. Now he uh he he understands the politics. He understands what's going on, and that insight could be very valuable to a lot of people. Yes. And it, it's just like everybody has something they can contribute. You just got to pick it out because we are fixing the walking horse industry now. Once they enter into the court process, a lot of things are going to be looked at that has not been looked at in the past. Uh, going into a real court of law is a lot different than going into how the duty court that the government's been yes. holding mm -hmm. for years to where you found innocent, they say, well, hell, next week we'll just bring another judge in here to try you again. It ain't going to happen. They're going into a real court of law. I remember when, uh, well, you remember, you were there. Uh, we had the meeting with the FBI yeah, yes, uh -huh. about what was going on, and when it was brought up about keep trying or go keep going to trial on the same charges, what was, what, what was it he told us? said, that's against the law. Well, yeah, that's right. And I believe a trainer sitting there said, go tell them that. We know it's against <laughs> the law. <laughs> but things are going to be different in this go around. It's not, it's not going to be a political issue. It's going to be a legal issue. Yes. And uh, from my point of view, Chase Williams would be an asset on the political end. Yes. But knowing right from wrong and targeting and the stuff like this now that's different yeah that's a lot different and, and you and I both know that how many times have you taken a horse up in one particular VMO will put a foot down and come just come to check your oh horse. yeah there's a lot of them do that they you know they are picking you out of a crowd or whatever and that's targeting you well, know? I've watched them pick yeah. you out. Mm -hmm. I've sat there and watched them. And I mean, them. it ain't just me. I mean, there's other trainers that they do the same thing to. I know, you know that. I mean, as, you know, <clears throat> I don't know. It just, a lot of things need to be changed. And I think Chase is a good person for that job because, you know, he got a lot of stuff. But, you know, one thing about that is, though, Jerry, he's, he's a Williams. Yep. And when you got named Jerry and then you got Williams, you know, if you got Jerry and Williams, you know, hey, that's kind of... But it ain't Tommy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but Tommy got good points, too. You know, know Tommy, Tommy got, got good, good You know, too. when you're Williams, you got good yeah. ideals. You know, well, David, David does good. David's got good yeah, points. Yeah, that's why I'm David does good out there. But I'm going to tell you, it, it, when, when you come to uh, going to court here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on the side of Frank Eichler. That man has worked hard, a lot of hours. Uh, I mean, everybody knows Debbie Eichler and I are friends, and, and we talk, we discuss the horses and stuff. And Frank, you ask Frank a question, he's going to tell you the facts, the truth. He's not going to go over here, he's not going to go over there, he's going to tell you exactly how it is. You may not like what he says. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, the man's supposed to tell you the truth. That's it. And that's one thing that Frank Eichler does. He tells you the truth. And when he put this comment together and put it out there, it's very plain. There was a lot of time went into that. And the points that he made, and then you look at what the law is and what the law is about falsifying documents, and, and then you go and look at medical malpractice mm -hmm. and uh, they, I mean they, they, what they do in order to find a violation is no different than a doctor a physician for us falsifying their findings to collect insurance yes what they're collecting is brownie points for their job mm -hmm. and I don't care whether they're clean shaven they got a beard or what if they falsify something, then they're wrong. Yes. And we have shown how one VMO will go when they're not looking for something, they're just looking to inspect the horse and see if something's wrong, is a whole lot quicker than when you've got a VMO that is trying to find something or anything they can call a violation. Yes. There's a major difference in those two inspections. I believe once a judge, 
jury, whatever, sees that, they're going to say, it'd be just like when I, I tried to get the video law passed. I showed them exactly what they're doing to keep us from videoing. The man said, something has to be done to stop this. So there was. And right now, there's something going to be done to stop me from talking because we're going to go to Tunica V. Peace. That'll work. I'm going to let you talk about the Tunica V. Peace. You did such a good job videoing down there. <laughs> oh, I tell you, that's a horse right there, the Mr. Heisman. That's a, that's a real good horse right there. That horse has been good for a long time. Um, that horse, I remember that horse, first time I think I ever seen that horse was down in Pulaski. And I think Hugh, Hugh Taylor. Showed him down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure did. And, and I mean, he made an outstanding show. Nobody knew who he was. A horse from Alabama that showed up and then they showed him down there. And I mean, he made an outstanding show down there. And ever since, he's been. Hey, ever since they saw him, yeah. he's been there. When he enters the ring, everybody watches. That's right. He just does not make a mistake. That's another good horse right there, in my uptight Jose. You can get it done, can you? Yes. Bruce is a good person on riding that horse right there. Now, Bruce is a good person for this industry. I mean, he's always there, always there to help. Keep my toes a win something or lose yes. something. I lost something that I should have won or won something I should have lost. I like his attitude. And I mean, every time you see him, he always got a smile on his face. And oh, he's he going to come, I don't care. He going to speak to you wherever. There this she lady is. right here says a lot for herself right there. Hey, I mean, she's... You, you can talk all day about, about Charlie right. Walters, and we just might do that in a minute. That horse there is a real nice horse there. Tell you too. what, that was her first time. Yeah, that's you know. what I'm saying. She done a good job, real you good job. I believe with she did, because you know she was nervous. You, you know she was getting excited about it, but she went out there and got it done. That was there. I mean, every time you see him, he's consistent. Yes, he's there all the time and always going to be in the top. Hey, you ain't ever going to get him out of the money. Yeah. <laughs> and here, here, this is one I really like. This yeah. Is, we got some great mares. And this one right here is breaking into that category. She's just five years old. And she's going to be one of them age mares that can really get it done. She's going to join that list of them top mares. That's one thing you might need to list one time on your Facebook page, Jerry. It's all the top mayors and people. Oh, Lord. Let them send it. They can send, send in some, suggestions. Yeah, just the straight mayors. That's it. You'd be surprised how many mayors, like like Molly was telling us, she's got some, some uh, embryos. Oh, yeah. What are we going to start calling him? Jimmy uh, Jr. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Sam, third. Sam's a good one now. He, Sam's he, good. He, Sam's he, a... Black gets it he, done. He's, he get, a he's a good trainer. He does the work real hard at it. He's got a good set of hands. Yes. You can watch him when he's riding and watch what way he uses his hands. And I tell you, he's serious about it too now. I yeah, mean, yeah. When, he's, when he's out there, he's all about that work. Doing a wonderful job. Oh, Mike's tickled with him. Yes. And Allie Joe. It's I another know. one that you can't say. I mean, you. <laughs> Allie. Hey, she would not surprise me if I looked up one night and she come in in a state class. You, you. It wouldn't surprise me either. She talks her daddy into a lot. I told him about that she scares me and when she's riding real fast. She said, no, she can handle it. I'd, I'd be nervous as a goat. I tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised me to see her on True Blue one time. It wasn't either. Yeah. I tell you, she, she, he told me the only time that he really gets nervous is in equitation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because it, she was so demanding on herself about the equitation part. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. There you go Sam again right here. Sam, oh, yeah. I'll tell you. He did good. To Mike is another guy. He's <laughs> always got a bunch of good horses. Hey. I mean, he and nice, a real another nice guy to talk to. Now he's when nobody believed, or I can't say that when others wanted out 
of Jenna Mighty, Mike said, no, nah, I'm not giving up on it. Yeah. And that look of Mike walking across center ring when they won it uh -huh. with his hand up in there tells it all. That's what he thought. Yeah. Country lineman, BBB. Here's another one, that, these girls. These now. girls, I mean, I'll tell you, that's, that's something else. I'm mean, again, you can't, they win so much and they always in the, always in the money all the time. They're always in the top three or yeah. four. Mm -hmm. I mean, very seldom are they out of the top three. And they know how to win my heart. They baked me some cookie. I had a cookie from them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ate mine. <laughs> I told her. That first one was so good, I just had taste well, to see she said, she said, I'll give you another. <laughs> Quite an honor. Now that's going to be another, yeah, another one of these excellent mares. Mm -hmm. I like the way that they sit up. I mean, I they they too. sit up on a horse real well. I mean, they they look between their horse's ears. Well, you know, and that goes back to that lead line division too. That teach them how to sit up on a how to ride and sit teach up on a horse. Teach them how to set a horse. That's and, right. And keep keep your head up. Look between them ears and let her go. Look at some of your top juvenile riders right now. Allie Joe, this one, both, all of them have shown that lead line class one. Hey, they just show what it's about. Yes. Right here, Super Bowl MVP. Now that right there always gets it done. Yes. I tell you what, these girls right here, they're, they're showing them stallions too, Zaro Jr. and them. Yeah. They're not backing up from none of it. They're just saying, hey. Well, in a couple of years here, they'll be in that amateur class. Well, players. they're 16. Then, yeah, that's so what So they saying. got two more years, and they're going to be up there anyway, so they're just letting mm -hmm. them know they can do it. Right here, that's another star one. of the show. Yeah. Koufax and Blaze Picard. Wagman and Picard. I, li I really do like this I horse. I like that horse, too. That horse sit there, walk and shake. He's going to be around for a while. Yeah. Blaze is another well sits on a horse sits a horse real well. Real well. Mm -hmm. Can't ask for nothing no, no better than you that. Can't. Lost part of her roses though. <laughs> But that's all right. Yeah. She, she pick them up on the, <laughs> on her next trip around. That's right. She scooped down there. <laughs> Blaze is a good rider. She's a good rider. She can do it. Now you won't, you won't never miss a beat. It me. You look at a lot of these, the riders, the trainers that we watch in there, yeah. and on the weekends when there's no horse show, they're in the woods on a horse. That, that's right. And, and that shows it, it's a lot more than just a job. That's it. Oh, she like it now. You look forward to her in the parade here. She'll be in the probably oh, yeah. shepherd parade here. Oh, yeah. Well, there's one other thing that we looked at while we was in Tunica, and I, I brought this up to you. There's a lot of horses down there that were exceptionally good that did not win. Yeah. And uh, they were just good. Right here is one of them, Socks Appeal. That's another, Socks Appeal yeah. was in there with another horse that was, but they both went different ways. Wait, you see mm -hmm. how Socks Appeal's got that head way up there, banging, and I mean to reach it. Looking good. That's a nice Megan. horse. I thought so. Bruce McDonald complimented her on the show she made. You know, this horse here, I think now, I may be wrong, but this horse had gotten hurt or something like that and then come back. And yep. Well, she, he was laid up for a while yeah. and then he came back. But this and is I one mean, of them deal horses. horses. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, you, people say what they want to about a deal, but they got a back end and they got a mind. Yes. But it, they're smart. I've not seen one of them yet that is not smart. Oh, Megan, that she can ride. And right here, on her son, yeah. I thought made a tremendous show. Yeah. He's walking, he's shaking, he's reaching. And this is a lit up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, this is completely different than you normally see from honors. Yeah. Jake does a great Jake job. Jake does a good job. Him. 
sometimes, you know, it may get people out there looking and seeing other horses that they might not got that blue ribbon, but you know, they could have got one just as easy as the one that won. I remember one year down there where a guy come in, eight horses came in, by far, he was the best one in there, in my opinion. Yeah. He got eighth place. But when he went outside, there was three trainers out there trying to buy him. Right here's another good one. Yeah. Mickey McCormick on Star Power, I thought was super. Yeah, that's a nice horse now. Now look how Mickey rides. Yeah. His whole family takes after him because every one of them set that seat. Oh, it. yeah. Well, Mickey's been doing it for a long time. Yeah, he has. But now that, that was another yeah. real good horse. Oh, Exceptionally uh -huh. good horse. It did not get the win. Yeah. And we ain't knocking the winner or nothing. We're just pointing out that always there's good horses in there. Yeah. Rammer Jammer. I thought super. That's one of the best shows I've seen him make. Uh-huh. And he got, I mean, he got beat by a good horse. Yeah. I, I like that slow walk. Oh, yeah. She's, Patty's got him where he's, you know, he, uh -huh. he's not too fast, not too slow. And Brian Reese, horse. Yeah. What, what can you say about Brian? <laughs> he, he is something else. That horse right there, I don't have to tell you what it reminds me of. Every bit of it. Yeah. The Heisman. Mm -hmm. This is Crosstown rival in Brian Reese. A great two-year-old. That was a nice horse. That horse made a real I, good show. I thought it made an excellent show. Yeah. Excellent. Brian's a good rider. Oh, yeah, Brian he, he is a good rider. He sits up in yeah. that seat. Uh -huh. He doesn't leave. I mean, he's, he's in there. He's in there to get it done. That's a, he's a real nice horse. I like that name, too. Mm-hmm. But you know, a lot of times in the future, you'll see this like that horse right there now. He was second there, and next year he might go on a winning streak and win every class hey, he go in. You don't you never just know. You don't know. You just don't know because <clears throat> right there he is good, buddy. Ain't nothing wrong with him. He's getting it done. I remember when Brian won the World Grand Championship on strolling through the rift. Yes. He was high fiving everybody's <laughs> having a race. But now that, that that's a sample of horses that didn't win. Yeah. But they made great Good shows. shows. Yeah. And that's that's something that we need to pay more attention to. Oh yeah, to. you're exactly right. Well, it's your turn. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. 
We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communication. Let Jerry practice his video and skills. <laughs> you watch how wonderful. It's all about CJ. That's why I learned that from watching CJ. Watching CJ do, yeah, do watching, his deal. Watching but CJ do his videos. I'm going to tell you, we had the opportunity to video and interview some real good clients of the walking horse industry. Yes. And uh, some of them, we, we talked about their horses and, and we, we missed talking about some of them cause, and that's my fault for not bringing them up. But one of them we missed talking about when we talked to this lady was none other than Mr. Trump. And he was a piece of work. Yes. Always in the winter circle. That was a good horse. He was a great horse. And that's, it's just a shame that we lost him at such a young age because he would have probably been a great breeding stud. Uh, he, uh, as far as the winter, I remember the first time I saw him at Edgar Abernathy's. He was outstanding. Uh, it was in a coat preview. The next thing I knew, Molly and, and Taylor were riding, showing and doing a great job of Mr. Trump something else. We are here in Tunica, Mississippi, and I am with Molly Walters. Molly, I watched you warm up a little bit ago. Which yes. one was it? Mach 1. That's what I thought. <laughs> he, he was looking good. Now, you're going to start showing him, right? Yes, yes. Right. That was always our plan. Uh, well, I always, Jerry and I had talked about yeah. that. I said, I wonder when she's going to get in the saddle. But now, you've shown some great horses. I've had the great fortune to have a bunch of good ones. <laughs> well, I love your mare. I don't even have to, she's limitless, is one of my favorite mares of all times. And, and you showed her for several years. I showed her, we got her when she was three for my son, and um, I took her over. <laughs> and so she's 15 this year, so I've showed her for 12 years. Yeah. Well, you gonna show her in the classic? She might just become a mama. We think we're about there. She's oh, been such a good horse, hey, really a good horse. Tell me about it. Yeah. She's won world grand championships. She's won world championships. I mean, she's been there, but now you and Taylor both have won on her. We have. The year that I wasn't showing, Taylor uh, took her last minute into the canter class. Right. And uh, <laughs> that was quite a trip, getting her <laughs> to learn how to canter, both Taylor and the horse. Well, now, I've heard some good compliments about Taylor learning the canter. Oh, they she, said she worked hard at it. She worked really hard. She and Jimmy uh, had a few moments where uh, they weren't very good friends, but, <laughs> but they got through it. I think they got fifth in the preliminary and then won the... It's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, lots of those. Well, Jimmy but, can be demanding. Yes, yes, he can, but the, re the results show up, too. So. Well, we got a thing at the studio, Jimmy and I used to talk about, that if you don't believe Jimmy is a great trainer, ask him. He will tell you. <laughs> he, he knows what he's doing. He, he does know what he's doing, mm -hmm. yep, yep, that's for sure. Well, some of your others, Honeybee. Honeybee oh. we're super excited about. We've owned her for um, a year and a half, two years now and uh, just so excited about her future. She's five-year-old this year, so, um, and Taylor's had great success with her. Oh, she And does. Edgar's got her now, the, the Wrights had her first, and they did a great job, and then Edgar has her, and he's pushed her forward right where she needs to be, so we're super excited about her. Well, tell us about some, some of your other horses. Well, back in the old days, <laughs> you know, it started with Coins Adonis, which was a really long time ago, super flashy stud, and then got out of the business for a while, and, got back in and got the who which i had a lot of success with too i always liked the who yeah and now had, he's standing at stud now he right he is he and putting cash on the liner at spencer benedict's right so yeah so uh they're good old boys they don't know they're old but uh 
Well, most most of them don't once yeah. they get in the breeding barn. They, they think they're young yes, again. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so we have also have Dark and Shady. Uh, Jimmy and I bought him back, and so mm -hmm. he's standing stud. So it's fun to have him back around, yeah, He was too. always good, yep. too. Yep. But y'all y'all have had some great horses, yep. no really doubt about people. it. But some of my favorite, and I'm, and I'm not Mark 1, <laughs> love him, but she's limitless. Limitless is uh, one of a kind. That, that's all we ever talk about. I know <laughs> Tommy Williams used to say, there's only one thing wrong with that horse. My name ain't on his papers, <laughs> on her papers. Well, we love it. We have three babies out of her so far, embryo transfers, and they're showing good promise. We have a, a weanling, a yearling, and a two-year-old. So. Hey, that's good. All well, girls. All girls. Well, all wh girls. what's the two-year-old? She is Genomite. Genomite. She's, she's been a handful. She's not ready to yeah, go anywhere yet. She's Genomite got a mind good. of her own, just Gen like her dad. So. Genomite is good. I know his neck back here is yeah. like... Raw, yeah. Jimmy yeah. showed me that I could yeah. I couldn't believe how big it's his amazing, neck was. It's amazing, isn't it? It yeah. is. Yeah, it it's really is. A good four or five inches wide. <laughs> yeah. he, he, yeah. said, he told me he said, "Come here and look at yeah. this." Yeah. Well, what are you going to show down here? Um, possibly Mach One mm -hmm. tonight. If, I think if we do. I, with Jimmy, you never exactly know what's happening. Well, and he's going to make the best decision yeah. for you. I can promise yeah. oh, you I that. Know. And then Taylor is going to let me show her um, a honeybee tonight. So all right. All right. I'm excited. Yeah. I got to go practice on her yesterday, mm -hmm. and that was a blast. So. Well, I love her yeah. too. Now yeah. she'll, in my eyes, she will probably take she's limitless place oh, in the way I look at horses. She's yeah. got that big, long, striding back end, the same right. as Limitless did. Well, it, she does yeah, a good job. Yeah, so we're super excited to go into next year's show. Well, I'm not going to keep you here. Thank I'm going to I'm going to let you go. I know. I know. I, I had to talk her into this. <laughs> not Taylor had her daughter had to talk her into it. Everybody had to push her into it. But I do appreciate you. Well, Polly. thank you. We thank appreciate you, Jerry, and all you've done for us. We really do. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Now we didn't get to talk about all of them. Yeah. I, I, when I got back, I said. We didn't talk about a whole lot about the who, we did a little, yeah. but there was other horses that we never mentioned, and I want to go and B.B. King. King. Now, tell me, right here, Molly on B.B., that's, yeah. that's a classic horse. Uh -huh. And this is just an example of some of the horses that Molly and Taylor have ridden, but now B.B. King, super good horse, super good. <clears throat> no, Molly will like this one. <laughs> but another one was Dark Rain. Yeah. We did not mention. I cannot believe that I talked to her and didn't bring these horses up because Dark Rain is one of my favorites. Yeah, that's I mean, a good it, horse. It, it, it's automatic. Ain't that what they yeah. call it? Mm -hmm. But now he 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 gets out there and goes to it. One of the best ponies around right now yeah he's a nice horse i like that horse he's always the same every time you see him and that head is up there in the air oh yeah edgar does a great yeah. job with him but there was one other one that uh i wanted to bring up because number one i'm a ut fan and uh the other one is, is, is named after one of the best quarterbacks that came out of Tennessee. The Dark Rain, you can't beat him now. He's not going to let nobody rain on his yeah. parade. I believe Molly showed Dark Rain, but now Taylor has yeah. showed Dark Rain several times. He's done great. But right, right here is her World Grand Championship. Oh, that, that does it all now. He does. Molly's got a good string of horses. She's oh, got yeah. good trainers. She's got two of the best in the end. Jimmy McConnell and, and Edgar, you, you can't beat those oh, two. Yeah. And she's had world grand champions. I remember that Corn and Donis horse that she talked about. He was a nice horse. Which one? Corn and Donis? Yep. He was a real nice horse. Well, 
good right there. Tell me about it. All of them get it done, but this one right here is yeah. one of my favorites, Manny. This one's one in open and amateur yeah. competition. That's a mother and daughter oh, yeah. team that's going to, you can't hardly beat Beat's now, I'll just tell you the truth, they're, they're just two super good, yeah. Taylor, Taylor's just sweet as she can be. Taylor ride and, and Molly too. Now their equitation skills. Oh yeah, he sets up on all now. Are good, real good. You got yeah. They present a horse very well. Molly and Taylor Walters riding Molly Walters on the entry of Rancho Mirage, California. Manny with Molly and Taylor Walters to the. Well, I'd say they mighty proud of their line up of yeah. horses because mm -hmm. they've got a line up that's next to none. I, I, you put that group of horses up against any group in the end. Oh, yeah. And come out looking good. They can almost do a whole room of pictures of the horses that they, the champion horses. Well, Lord, got. yeah. They had an AMM World Grand Championship. You'll be able to see them look yeah. right out with that one, too. So they do a good job. They complement each other very well. I had to show one more of these because yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, she's limitless. Yeah. It doesn't make any difference. It can be dry, it can be wet. She's going to get out there and walk with the best of them. I can't think of a more fitting way to end yeah. this video mm -hmm. than with she's limitless. She's gonna make a great group. Oh, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's, she's got all the traits, got the size, the build. Ain't nothing like a good bay horse. No, it's just something about them. Yeah. They're kind of, they're kind of special. I've owned one red dirt girl, and and I decided to breed her. And she was she was a great mare. Yeah. And lost her in the pasture. But a good bay will make your day. day. That's right. No doubt about it. Can't beat that. No, you but can't. You can't beat Molly, Taylor, the whole group. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good outfit. Now, we're going to do something. I wanted to do this. I went back and, and looked at some of the fraternity champions. And your fraternity champions, the classes were held in conjunction with other classes. Yes. So they were mixed in there with celebration entries and fraternity entries. And here is some of the fraternity winners. Right there is, I am a Tomcat kitten. Park Pleasure three-year-old. Amber Zan for owner Joey Manis. I like it. Oh yeah. It, by Tom Cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By Tom Cat Kit. That's a heck of a name, man. Yeah. <laughs> Need to call Roy and ask him about that. And here's Chew Tobacco, Chew Tobacco. 
Take a spit. Richard, Richard. That was a nice coat. Yes, he is. Bobby Jones known for that though. Oh yeah. That's who I call when I want an appraisal done. I call Bobby Jones. Yeah. He'll get him and Dr. Richard, they'll come out and they'll, they'll tell you just about what your horse is worth. Mm -hmm. And he's had some high dollar ones and some oh, yeah. low dollars. That's a heck of a name though. CTCT. CT. Yep. All right. Well, I want to show them just a couple. I mean, you know. Well, you can go ahead and do your job now, and then we got a very special video to show. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So, if you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at humanewatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. Well, welcome back. Well, Friday of this week, we've got the uh, trainers meeting. Yes. And uh, the Tweeba's also got a meeting yeah, going they on. Meeting. They got mm -hmm. things going on. They just had their election and everything. It went pretty good. Yeah. There, there's a lot going on in the walking horse industry now, getting ready for the the legal action, really. Uh, I haven't talked to a lot of people about it, just more or less you and I have talked a few times, and I've talked to a couple of people. But everybody seems to be pretty positive about the way it's going to go. Uh, facts are going to be told and uh, I think some people are going to be surprised with what can be proven because I still find it hard to believe that especially the guards yeah for them to stand there and uh, lie I just I just don't see it but we're putting a horse out on for auction and before you ever do that there's one thing you need to do that's go to Equine Services and have a inspection yes. done. And that's what we had Dr. Bennett do. So catch this out. This is a good inspection process the way it should be done. We're doing a physical exam on this walking horse. Uh, we're just gonna go through, through the process that we do when we get a horse in here. And we're just checking him out to make sure that he's physically able to do what his job's intended to be. So this is supposed to be a six-year-old walking horse uh, that gilding that's for sale. So the first thing we're going to do is get a weight on him and see what we got. So if you'll lead him around, we'll put him on the scales. 
just like when you go to the doctor, they want to get uh, they want to get a weight on him and see what they got. Okay. So let's bring him on around and we'll get a weight on him there. And this gives us a lot of this gives us reference points in case we have any issues in the future. We can compare where we're at. So. As you can see, this horse weighs about 976, 976 pounds. So we'll go inside and finish the rest of our exam. All right, Nick, bring him on in. We got him weighed, and we'll bring him in here where it's a little warmer because it's a little chilly outside this morning. So he's supposed to be a six-year-old walking horse gilding. He's definitely a walking horse, definitely a gilding. So we're going to go up here and start the head, and we're going to check and make sure that his age is correct because anybody that's dealt with horses and people selling horses, people buying horses, age can sometimes be uh, something that's not necessarily the truth becomes known. So then the other thing is I like to get in front of the horse and look for symmetry, make sure you get a good view or a good idea about the cranial nerves. As you all know, there's 12 cranial nerves and a lot of them are right around the face. You know, the facial nerve, the, um, optic nerve, olfactory nerve, and so we just palpate, look for any asymmetries. His age is six years old. I just check his teeth, make sure that they're in good shape. Then I like to just check for any odors, any drainage out of the nostrils. And you can see this horse is pretty, pretty symmetrical here. He looks pretty good. And then palpate the lymph nodes in under palpate the throat latch, just make sure there's good space in there. And then we come down, just palpate the ear, see how he is about putting a bridle or messing around his head. So we do that. And then I just work my way on down, listen to the heart and lungs. Usually on the right side of the lung field, there's kind of a blind lobe of the lung there that collects a lot of trash. So if horses have allergies or any past respiratory issues, a lot of times you'll pick it up on this side of the horse. And then we just listen for gut sounds. So everything seems to be good there, so we'll move on and we'll we'll take a look at his eyes here while we're up toward the front here. And what we're looking for here is making sure his pupils dilate and contract, which they do. That all looks good. We'll get another little exam looking back into the optic disc. Because vision gets to be a big part of a physical exam, just like it is in a person. And I'm going to get Kayla to help me here, and let's get a temperature on him. So this is Kayla, and I'm sorry, the person holding the horse is Nick. So well, then again, I just like to check everything that I can before it's over. I like to have my hands on just about all the horse, make sure there's no lumps or bumps that we pick up. All right. Just 
palpate a skeletal system. We just check for any tumors or issues that we can pick up and make sure that we don't have any hernias. Make sure there's no adhesions from the castration. Everything feels good. All that feels good. And then we'll just palpate his legs here. Can you hand me the hoof testers, please? All right, now we're just going to hoof test him here as we go. Easy, bud. Everything feels pretty good, looks pretty good on that leg. We'll just work our way back, palpate as we go. Checking tendons and soft tissue, hoof testing. Just looking at him, looks like he's about to do a reset. So. There you go. Palpate's pretty good there. All right, so everything checks pretty good. As you'll notice, can you take him and just turn him a little bit. If you'll look at this right front foot, you can just bring him on around, Nick, so his right side's facing the camera. There we go. Perfect. As you can see, this right front foot over here has got a little bit of a club to it, so we'll get an x-ray of that later on and see what we got, but you can see there's, there's mismatched feet. Being a walking horse, that's not too uncommon, especially with generator bloodlines, and that's what he's out of, so that's pretty normal, but we will get some x-rays here in a second, see what that's like. I'm going to pull some blood on him. Again, just like when you and I go to the doctor, they're always checking blood. We'll get a fecal here in a minute. I don't know that you get that done when you go to the doctor yourself, but we're going to do that here anyway. <laughs> All righty. Then the other thing I like to do on all horses is just make sure that we don't, there again, have any tumors, any old scars left over from previous injuries because remember this horse is for sale so we want to make sure we get everything looked at palpate's pretty good I just like to glance at everything All righty, so far so good. So we're going to shoot us a couple of x-rays of these front feet. I'm going to give them just a little sedation here so you'll stand good. All right, let's bring them over to the x-ray. Get gowned up here and get us some x rays. So we'll put him on the blocks here so we can get us some good x rays of these feet. Then 
I like to put dye on these feet so I can know exactly where the hoof wall is. So that way we've got a radiographic marker here. Okay. We'll start with this right front foot so we can get an x-ray of that. Back when me and you were growing up, Mr. Harris, it took forever to shoot an x-ray and get it developed. Now it's instantaneous. All right. Okay. So just to refresh, I normally don't shoot x-rays unless I see an issue on a physical exam. So we got this club foot on this right front. It's not bad, but we just want to take a view of it. So if y'all want to come over and look at the x-rays. So here is the right front foot. There is the left front foot. And you can see he looks pretty good. He's just got a little flare here. And there again, remember early on in our conversation, he's doing a reset. So that's going to take care of a lot of this. He's got that dish in his foot, which means we just got to take a little of this toe off bring this back good, same way over here on the left one. But the reason for putting the marker on there is I can tell exactly where that hoof wall is. It should be parallel to this bone. And it is in both feet. This is a blood vessel foramen there, blood vessel foramen there. There's your navicular bone. This is your coffin bone. This horse got a lot of soul depth, which is good. The biggest thing is he just needs a reset, but no rotation, good angles, Hoof tested good, good and sound in my opinion. So we'll wait on the blood work and the fecal, which we run those with the machines. And other than that, he's in pretty good shape, looks like. What more can you ask for? That's right. That's why when you put them out for sale, get Dr. Bennett to do it, there's no question. That's right. Because if there's a question, he's gonna, he's gonna get the answer That's, to it. That, mm -hmm. that we both knew about the generator in, yeah. the, in the hoof, but he pointed it out, brought it out, which is good. People need to know that just because you got a generator hook doesn't mean nothing. Well, I'm just making sure when you buy a horse and you go online, look at him, that horse is healthy, you know, and everything else, you know, and that's a licensed veterinarian that's checking, and you ain't just going by word of mouth. It's just, that's it. You know. Well, when you see it and you see what the horse went through, it makes a lot of difference. That's right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I guess that's going to be it for this week. However, Next week we'll have a new show and we'll be coming up with some new things that people need to be thinking about, need to be doing. Plus we'll be going to the dinner for equine services. Yes. That's going to be next week. So I wish everybody a good weekend. Yeah, have a good safe weekend. You too, bud. Uh -huh. <laughs> See y'all next week. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse. I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking. Thank you.